Hey Mech Warriors, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. I spend almost all my time split playing either my Kintaro or Warhammer, and because of that, I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what is the best assault mech to recommend to you for Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries. So in the meanwhile, today I'm going to show you how understanding PGI's coding can help you understand friendly fire and make your mech go invisible to other mechs. Behold, as I turn on my personal cloaking device for my Kintaro. Wow, wow, wow. And wham! Destroyed. So we're all aware of how our lance mate's AI is bad, like really bad, constantly hitting both you and each other with friendly fire. The best way to avoid this is by knowing this. Our lance mates are coded so that as long as they have line of sight with their target, whether there's a friendly lance mate in between, it doesn't matter, they'll fire. So to avoid friendly fire yourself, make sure you're passing lance mates from behind them and don't be directly between your lance mate and the enemy. To decrease having my lance mates hit each other, I send a pair to one location while the other lance mate follows me, and I can guarantee you that you'll dramatically reduce the amount of friendly fire that you incur. We're taking enemy fire! Do something, goddammit! Now, let's take a moment and look at this accumulated footage and see how close I can get to enemies. Spending any time in the mech lab, we'll know that the rear armor for all mechs is always significantly weaker, but enemies rarely show their back to you. I imagine many fellow mech warriors aim to get first blood, or at least the first shot on their enemy, in hopes of crippling their most powerful weapon. What you may not have noticed is that as long as your target has been shot by a lance mate and you haven't shot them, they will totally ignore you, even if you're extremely close to them. To take advantage of this coding, you'll need to have a fast but powerful mech, much like my favorite Kintaro 18. You'll want a quick mech because if you're too slow, your lance mates will take too much damage before you get behind the enemy. If you're not well enough equipped, it'll take too long to core your enemy. And if you're too light and you maneuver incorrectly, which will happen to even the best pilot, they'll just torso turn on you and deal a ton of damage. If you let loose two to three full salvos of your weapon, you'll be able to core even an assault mech. So as you can see, we can take advantage of the coding by PGI and find ways to both avoid friendly fire and totally be ignored by enemy mechs, leaving them open to be backstabbed. That concludes today's video. I hope it helps you take less damage and provide you an advantage against your enemies. Let me know in the comments below your recommendations for an assault mech. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.